Nearly 10 years ago, there would be, on average, 10 women who ended up in the Fairfield County Jail on drug charges. Today, there are more than 60 behind bars for drugs. Jail time means they'll get clean. But as 10TV's Tracy Townsend shows us, the challenge is staying clean once they're out. I am victorious. There is a message, and for just about every one of the women in this circle, yes, I am. A desperation to be free of drugs and confinement in the Fairfield County Jail. You have a good week or a bad week? Okay week? It's the third time Janessa Casley and Tiffany Rungi have been locked up for drugs. Just to stay sober, it's a battle every day in itself. Um, I have a three-year-old that, you know, needs me, so. When we're out there, we don't think about it. Then we come in here and, we, you know, we sober up, we do what we have to do, and then, you know, we talk to the church ladies. Kathy Meyer is one of those church ladies, a volunteer from what's called Grace Haven Ministries. I heard a few of the girls tell you that they've been in here more than once. They especially need hope. Jail administrators say nearly 90% of the female inmates have drug addictions which led to their crimes. Meyer and seven others in the ministry come here each week to pray, minister and motivate them for their eventual release. Release from jail for these young women does mean freedom, but it doesn't necessarily equal safety. For many, it adds up to a return to the illegal activity here on the streets that got them in jail in the first place. We have people die on the streets all the time uh, for overdoses. And uh, so th at some point, they've got to understand that this is for their life. Loretta Phelan, who is the wife of Fairfield County Sheriff Dave Phelan, calls it a life or death battle. She says it's what motivated her to expand Grace Haven Jail Ministry to two houses where up to eight women can stay for a year as long as they remain drug free. They go to AA meetings. Uh, we have several classes and things for them. Really, the only thing that makes someone better is their determination. Bethany told me Grace Haven turned her life around after being hooked on prescription Percocet, turning to scoring it off the streets, and being locked up in jail twice. I'm not so far away from it that I'm exempt from it. It's an everyday struggle and an everyday battle that I have to deal with. A way of life these women hope to embrace once their time behind bars is up. What do you hope for yourself after you get out? To be a better mother, to be a better daughter, wife, you know, do better with my life, get a job. Tracy Townsend, 10 TV News. So far, 78 women have gone through Grace Haven in the five years of its operation. 20 of them, including Bethany, remain drug free.